Our verse today is 1 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 18. Now be the first to come and do what the king commands. As all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those that are left in Jerusalem have done, then you and your sons will be numbered among the friends of the king, and you and your sons will be honored with silver and gold and many gifts. Antiochus Epiphanes wanted to abolish the Jewish way of life, customs and religious worship in favor of Greek worship. This meant that the Jews should give up their Torah observance, temple worship and the practice of circumcision. These religious practices were at the very heart of Judaism. Remove them and there was no Judaism. Antiochus introduced the Greek legal system built a gymnasium in Jerusalem and made decrees to abolish Jewish religious observances, read 1 Maccabees chapter 1. But some Jews would put up a resistance to this tyrannical rule. The revolt was led by the priest Mattathias and his five sons, 1 Maccabees chapter 2, 1-5. to When the king's officials enforcing the king's order came to Modain, they tried to persuade Mattathias to be the first to observe the king's command as a leader of the people. And our verse contains what they said to Mattathias. Let us break the verse down. Be the first to come and do what the king commands. He was to offer sacrifice contrary to their Jewish covenant and practices. Sacrifice to the image erected by the king. And they wanted him to follow the example of all the Gentiles and the other men of Judah and Jerusalem who have obeyed the king's command. Many people had forsaken their Jewish practices, their religion, and followed the king's order. The second point is that there was an incentive for carrying out the order of the king. Mattathias and his sons will be given royal recognition, numbered among the friends of the king. They will be given gifts of silver and gold, which means they will become worthy. Accepting the king's gifts would give him and his sons a social and financial status in the kingdom. Read 1 Maccabees chapter 10 verse 65, chapter 11 verse 27, and 2 Maccabees chapter 8 verse 9. Mattathias led a revolt against the king, which led to the massacre of many Jews. What is glaring is that they wanted Mattathias to break the covenant he has with God, but he refused and disobeyed the king's order and fought for his faith and died for it. How often do we go with the crowd because we do not want to be tagged as different? Mattathias would not allow the lure of riches to make him deviate from or betray his faith. He instead fought with his life to defend the religion handed down to him by the fathers, by his fathers. How often do we sacrifice our faith on the altar of materialism and the lure of riches? Mattathias was a priest who did not want to defy himself or allow material wealth to corrupt his faith. As a priest, Mattathias set an example for the people. What do we see in our world today with priests and pastors, ministers of God? Are they true examples to their flock? Can they stand and say we are examples to the people we are leading? Lord, give us the courage to stand for our faith, especially when the temptations of materialism confront us headlong. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day.